Okay, we're solving simultaneous equations again, and again we're using substitution. I guess we can call this part two. You've already seen what substitution is and what a simultaneous equation is. Uh, this question is going to be a little more complicated. Now, the reason it's more complicated. Equation number one, remember to label your equations. Equation number one, it's just like the equation you did in the last video, y equals mx plus c, or in this case, y equals 2x minus 1. The problem is with our second equation, remember to label them. Equation number 2, 3x plus 4y equals 29. Now the problem with this is that it's not written in this y equals mx plus c form, which is going to make subbing equations into each other a little more complicated. Now looking at this, we want to, remember, sub one equation into the other. We need to choose which equation we're going to sub into the other equation. Now if you look at equation 1, equation 1 is a nice simple one, it's got y as the subject. So we know that y is equal to 2x minus 1 in equation number 1. Equation number 2 is more complicated because we don't know what x is equal to here. We could rearrange it if we wanted to know what x was equal to. And we don't know what y is equal to. So because we've got y as the subject here, it's a good idea to sub that, sub equation 1, into equation 2. Make sure you declare that this is what you're about to do. Sub equation 1 into equation 2. So that means wherever we see the letter y in equation 2, we're going to sub equation 1 into it. So this is where we see y, so that's where it's going to happen. So 3x, that's the same, plus 4 times y. Now that's times whatever y was in equation 1. And in equation 1, y is equal to 2x minus 1. So where I see the y, I'm going to put in 2x minus 1. You've got to put this equation in in brackets, or things are going to get horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, 3x plus 4 whatever y was, which is 2x minus 1, equals 29. So that's equation 2 with equation 1 subbed into it. After that, you guys should be able to handle the algebra required to solve this. That 3x stays as it is. 4 times 2x, this is the distributive law, just expanding these brackets. 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4 equals 29. So 3x plus 8x minus 4 equals 29. I'm going to move that negative 4 over to this side. It's going to become a positive 4. Uh, so 29 plus 4. While I'm doing that, I'm going to group 3x and 8x. That's going to make 11x. Okay, so that's going to give me 11x, which is equal to 33. Now, if I divide by 11, because I want to get x by itself, x equals 33 over 11, which means that x equals 3. Now, remember, we don't have a simultaneous solution yet, because a simultaneous solution is the point at which these two straight lines would meet on a Cartesian plane. We don't have a point yet. We just know that when x equals 3, that's where these things are going to meet. So we need to take x equals 3 and sub it into one of these equations doesn't matter which one because it'll be the same for both. Which one of these equations would you put it into? Oh, I think you'd be a bit silly to put it into this one. This one, equation number one, is going to make your life a lot easier. So make sure you declare what you're about to do. Sub x equals 3 into equation 1 and y equals 2x minus 1, that's equation 1. Now I'm going to sub x equals 3 into that, y equals 2 times 3 minus 1, uh, which means that y equals 6 minus 1, which means that y equals 5. Now please don't stop here, you haven't given an answer yet. The answer, the simultaneous solution to this equation is x equals 3, y equals 5. That means that these two equations are going to meet at a point 3, 5. Now if you want to, you can check that by subbing it into this equation and making sure it makes sense. 3 times 3 plus 
4 times 5 equals 29. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 times 5, which is 20. 9 plus 20 equals 29. 29 equals 29. Yep, it works in that equation. We already know it works in that equation because that's where we got it from. So 3, 5, the point 3, 5 works in both of these equations. That's our simultaneous solution. That's solving simultaneous equations using substitution in a slightly more difficult question.